when I wrote this book, what I really wanted to do was take us away from the normal response we get when we look in a mirror. We see a body, we see something, ooh, we need to lose a few pounds. But I want, wanted instead was to say, this is a pretty well the most amazing thing in the universe that you're looking at. Not just in terms of how it works, which is certainly incredible, particularly a brain, but also because we're interacting with the universe around us. It's a way that we can detect light from distant galaxies. We can feel the effects of warps in space and time that's gravity. Our body is absolutely amazing. This is the mask illusion. And like any optical illusion, what's really happening here is our brain is putting together a picture of the world that's totally artificial. We don't actually see like a camera. Our brain has modules that detects things like edges, shapes, color, and puts that together to make an artificial picture. And in this case, what we've got is a mask that's turning around. It's a hollow mask. It's obviously a face, it's Charlie Chaplin. And we know that faces come out and we can even see the shaping of the face in the mask. And that's fine until it rotates and we see the back. And we get this totally artificial and bizarre effect that the back of the mask actually sticks out and comes towards us. And it switches round as it goes from being the hollow side to the front side. Your brain really scrambles to keep up and you've got this mind boggling effect as it shifts from coming out to in. Got to take a look now at the complementary colour illusion, which is another one where our brain is really fooling us about what we're seeing. And we manage to not look at things normally because our eyes are jumping around all the time in little movements called saccades. But what this illusion does is to get us to focus on the spot. We, we basically stop having those movements. And because of that, our eyes start to shut down handling the particular colours. So when we see the picture, what happens is the reds, the greens, and the blues, we think, okay, we're getting much too much, and they shut down. Then after a few seconds, what we get is the same picture, but in black and white. And when we see that, our eyes have said, okay, there's obviously not much red, not much green, not much blue, and it actually shows us instead the complementary colors, the secondary colors. So instead, we get cyan, yellow, and magenta. The exciting thing for me about writing the universe inside you is that it's about two things. It's both about how our bodies work, but also how we interact with the rest of the universe. So for instance, you go out on a dark night, you look up into the sky, and you can see a tiny speck that's the Andromeda galaxy. It's visible with the naked eye. And that's 2.5 million light years away. That's about the furthest thing away we can see with our naked eyes. The light from that has been coming towards us for 2.5 million years, long before humans existed. It gets to your eye and it winks out of existence in a moment. And it's that interaction with the rest of the universe, the way that using our bodies we can explore all that science that I find absolutely amazing.